Hey guys! So for today's video, Tiffany is gonna fall. Tiffany is gonna fall. <laughs> no, she's not gonna fall, but she actually will kind of fall. Okay. But she is finding out a way to escape, escape or fall. We have a little bit of cheats here. As you can see. So we're just gonna tell you what new hedgehog owners need. We had Tiffany for nine days already. And she is a wild really, animal. And she is really nice, but she is so active all mm -hmm. the time. She's really active. Okay, the first thing you need. Can I go first? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that you need is, um, if they're still young, you'll probably need, oh, I thought that was her poop. Um, ferret food, if they're not that young, like a year old, then they'll probably get used to um, cat food. But this is much softer than cat food. So it's basically ferret food diet. Um, it's the premium ferret food diet. This is the best brand that they had. Personally, we need a lot more. Actually, no, we don't. We This probably lasts us for a year? No, like no. Three, three months. Three months. Yeah. So there it is. Um. So I'll tell you what they need to eat. They could eat, eat chicken. I don't think cheese actually. Cheese, I'm not that sure about. Maybe cheese. Um. Cheese. Thank you for eating, cause you're really skinny. Um, they need, they could, mm, she hates carrots. No matter what, she will not eat carrots. She, the only option that she could eat is fruits. The only fruit she will eat is apples, but not that much. So, so her basic diet is ferret food, lettuce. And she doesn't like mealworms either. You no, know, um, uh, and. Cause she's a Lana, she, Long Island baby. Yeah, and she. So she basically needs lettuce, ferret food, and apples. That's all she basically eats. Um, and that's a pretty healthy diet for drinks, just water, no milk. Well, actually, you could give milk. Um, we give her chicken. She does not eat it. No, but you could give chicken. Um, what else? You can't give them oatmeal. No, I think it's an oatmeal. Although, we'll get an oatmeal thing in a minute. So, that's what you need to feed them. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is how to bathe them. What happened? Thank you. Um, kind of poked me though. Uh, so, basically, you need only two, three things. Three things. Um, you need, um... Shampoo, uh, it has to be oatmeal shampoo with coconut. It's optional. Coconut is really optional, but it's preferred with coconut oil. Uh, it helps with the dry skin. Uh, hedgehogs often get dry skin, dry scalps. Um, it says oatmeal shampoo um, with a little bit of coconut scent and coconut oil. Okay. And basically, if they dunk their head into the water, then they'll probably not die, but they'll they get sick. They'll get sick because they snort the water in because they breathe faster than humans. They do? Yeah. How do you know? Because I watched the video. Um, so they'll probably breathe in a couple widths of um, water. Um, so here... And you also need a toothbrush, an old toothbrush. Make sure it's clean. Everything needs to be clean. Um, so You're taking all of the time. No, I'm explaining so they will get it. So, um, yeah, you basically put a little bit of shampoo into the water. Hold on. Like falling. 
Okay, there you go. So you base it, you just put it in the water, put your hand in it to this, and it's gonna spread out everywhere. That's good. So here is the shampoo if you need it. Um, here's the toothbrush. And the three things you need is toothbrush, oops, toothbrush, oatmeal, shampoo, and with coconut, and water. And our sink does not clog, like, it doesn't stop the water. So that's why we use a bathtub. And a bathtub is more easier. Um to use because you have more room and what we like to do is we just shop like we just bathe her yeah. oh yeah good girl um so what we did was i was in charge of washing her while camila was in charge of rolling her um pants up to her knees and getting in the um bath with can i explain that Wait a minute. Uh, get in the bath with her and make sure she doesn't dunk her head in or like trip or fall. And I, get more I was food, in charge of it. Now, Camila. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is basically just some um, toys for them and some bedding and what you have to do basically. So, you need bedding. This is, what kind of bedding is this? I have no clue. I forgot, too. Good girl. Oh, this bedding is, um... Oh, I'll take care of her meal. Sorry, this bedding is, I forgot. What? <laughs> I forgot, but you need some type of bedding. But no. Some beddings do actually tend Here, to stay poisonous her. to hedgehogs and... The, this bedding it doesn't. Uh, I know. What is this bedding called? But her leg was caught in here. I don't know. Oh, guys, don't use wood bedding. Don't use wood bedding. That it's can really hurt bad them. for them. That can hurt them. And they could swallow some wood. Yeah, and that is really not good. Please don't poop. But you want this? Uh, you need some kind of bedding. If you don't want Whoa. to make it messy. No, 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 no. If you don't no, want no. something messy, you want then you can use, you want like, um, no. not a towel, because their little thing, like, their little things can get stuck in it. So that's what you don't want. But what you Good do girl. want is bedding that is, like, that. Or you can have bedding that is, like, I forgot, but you can have a smooth blanket bed. Guys, I'm right here. I'm feeding her. So, that's basically what you want. So, for starters, I recommend gloves. I recommend um, sport gloves because they're literally, you can't even feel like the spikes or anything like that. No, no, and if you're afraid no. to touch them, don't be afraid because they're not going to do anything to you they, with these gloves. We never got bit by it. We never got bit by her. We never got spiked by her in these gloves. So I do recommend for new hedgehog owners to have these gloves. But yeah, that's basically what I want you guys to do. Have those gloves around. Because if you don't, you can get guys, I'm hurt. Coming. So some really oh, interesting toys that you can have for a hedgehog are these so you I have this ball well I have four of these so you want at least four of these because one they some some of them can actually get stuck in her I mean some of them can like um, disappear or something in her cage and you can't get it and she can rip up some of them or he can rip up some of them so also I do not recommend having these overnight. You can have them in the daytime. She's too excited. You can have these in the daytime She's to play with them with your hedgehog. Not in the night. But not in the nighttime because they can actually get stuck and they can rip that like, happened to us. Off. And it happened to us once. She went in it and she got stuck in it and it really hurt her. 
So, and I have to wake up in the middle of the night and literally just feed her, and it was very awful. So, I didn't know, so that's how I learned my lesson, I guess. <laughs> so, put her on here, because I don't want her to poop over there. I'll demonstrate how they get stuck in the tube. She might want, not want to do it right now. Yeah, she probably doesn't want to do it right now. It's so hard to keep her. It's so hard to keep her still. Ow! Wow, girl, she she just spiked me. Ew. Or quilled me, I guess. Ooh. Oh, and she is in the process of quilling, so oh my God. if they are in the process of quilling, you don't want to play with them that much because they can actually come here. like you really bad, and it can be really dangerous for them, come here. for the hedgehogs, and the, you guys. What happened? And she is three months old. She is almost three months old. But they didn't tell us the exact birthday of her. Let her fall. Let her fall. Let her fall. She wants to fall. Oh! <laughs> she was hanging on there. Did you see that? I think she's pooping. Where is she? Is she under the table? Okay, let me tell them about quilling. So, I can only have the video to 15 minutes, just saying. Okay, so quilling is basically when they're three months old, they quill. And that means, oh, she's eating. Um, that means they kind of lose their quills. And, by the way, guys, you if the, you don't see a little tiny, tiny ball on the tip of her quill or her, his quilt, that's a problem. It might cause like herpes, herpes, I don't know, some type of disease, and it's really not good. And when they're like older, I think they quilt too. But in the middle of their age, like two, no quilling. They only quilt like three times a day, kind of. And they poop really, like, they don't poop at all, basically. They kind of do, they kind of don't. She's eating, hooray. Um, she doesn't, she doesn't really poop that much. But let me tell you guys, they have periods. And it's really gross, because she had one today. And she's probably going to have one tomorrow, and the next day. Way to go. But it's only a little bit, like it's not that much, that much. Yeah, it was right here. Yeah, it was on our table. It was really gross. Um, Camille, do you want to end it? Cause it's 13 minutes. Here, grab it. Hi, baby. Come here. Whoa. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it you learned something about them, or you learned if you're thinking of getting a hedgehog, what you have to do get ahead so again this is tiffany and she'll see you later